Hey, it's Emily Bix with the Red Carpet Report, and we are here at the Paley Center in Los Angeles talking to the cast of Pitch and Lethal Weapon. Hi, it's so Hi. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So my first question for you is, what was the hardest part of training for this role, to play a professional pitcher? Um, learning how to pitch. <laughs> um, just figuring out the dry mechanics of it, um, and then also trying to create my own style as a pitcher, because every pitcher sort of has their own style, but I had to learn from the ground up how to even pitch. So definitely that. And getting my arm strength up too, you know, to have a certain amount of velocity to make it seem realistic. How has the feedback been from like other professional pitchers? Have they like reached out on like Twitter or social media with any sort of... I've been getting some pretty good feedback actually. You know, it's a work in progress. I'm still working at it right now. I only had two and a half months to learn how to pitch before the pilot, so it wasn't that much time. But I think um, my technique and the mechanics are down enough to where it's believable. You believe that I'm a pitcher, so that's... Good. It's such an iconic role. How do you feel like, I feel like in the future people, well, girls will be like, oh, you're like the Kylie, you know, or or the, Gin I'm sorry, the Ginny. Or the Kylie. <laughs> or the Kylie. Actually, either one. <laughs> like, from the beginning, how does that feel? How is that off, on your shoulders? Um, you know, I don't really think like that. So um, my biggest thing is um, that I'm just able to be sort of a vessel um, for young people to know that they are worthy and capable and are enough and to never stop dreaming and that's sort of I think my role in this yeah, yeah. The pilot's amazing I'm so excited to see how this series goes thank, thank you, you. Nice meeting you. <laughs> thank you for watching red carpet report if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up subscribe to more videos and in the comments below let us know which show you're looking forward to most this fall